So I've had lots of requests to try and predict the grade thresholds, whether it's IGCSE maths, IB maths, or A-level maths. And I thought I'd help you in two different ways. First of all, I'm going to predict the IGCSE 0580 maths paper two grey boundaries. But I'm also going to give you the skills in this video to actually predict the other exams for yourself with the help of a handy spreadsheet. And I'll talk you through exactly how it works. Feel free to download this spreadsheet down in the description. Please do download it. Do not ask for shared access because you want to take that copy of the spreadsheet and then mix around with some of the different results so you can try and understand exactly what's required to get that particular A gray boundary, B gray boundary, and so on. Right, let's go over to my computer and get started. Okay, and this is my grade thresholder predictor spreadsheet. So I'm going to go through my analysis here for IGCC 0580 maths paper two. This is variant two as well. I'm going to focus on and you can use exactly the same process to predict for A level and IB maths as well. So what I've done, I've got the 2023 paper from last year. And what I've done is put all the different marks for each question. So remember, it is out of 70 here. And for each question, I've given a difficulty to that particular question. So the first one here, no surprise, is a one out of 10 difficulty here. And all I've done is multiply the difficulty times number of marks to give myself a score. Now, I do this for each and every question. Question 12 here, this is a really difficult question from last year based on sequences. Um, here, it's only out of three marks. I give it a score of 10, so the score here would be 30. The idea of doing this is that it weights it. So if you have a big question, which is very difficult, that's going to make the whole paper difficult for the grey boundaries. So essentially what we're going to do here is find the mean from a frequency table. So what I've done is I've added up the scores, divided by the total number of marks for the paper, and this gives me a difficulty rating for the paper. So I've given this a 5.542. Uh, 857 as a difficulty rating here and you can see comparing that to variant 3 from last year which is slightly lower here at 5.4857 so I've done variant 3 here as well just to give you a bit of a comparison point now once I've done this I've got the real grey boundaries for 2023 variant 2 so you can see 55 out of 70 got us an A last year at 79% which is pretty typical and what I've done is I've taken a magic number. Now, the magic number comes from taking the rating times the gray boundary. Because essentially what I'm doing here, and actually you did this in the IGCSE exam, is we have an inverse proportional relationship. That is, as the rating goes up, as it gets more difficult, then the gray boundaries should become more friendly. They should go lower. That's the relationship I'm taking here. Again, I'm making this quite straightforward. Again, the subjectivity, of course, of the difficulty is also something to consider here. But my magic number here is 304.9. I'll be using that later on. For variant three, it's quite close. It's 296. So you can see variant two and variant three are kind of following in the same pattern here. Now, what I've done is for 2024, so the prediction for variant two, I've done exactly the same process. I've labeled all the different marks uh, for the 24 questions this year, and I've put a difficulty for each question, creating my score, and then I can add them together. That gives me 396 divided by 70, and I give this rating of 5.657. So what I'm saying in general is the paper was ever so slightly harder than last year. You may agree, you may disagree, of course, you could always, when you download this worksheet, change the difficulty if you think this question was easier or harder than you thought. Now, I use our magic number from before, so the 304.9. I'm assuming there's the same relationship as 2023 that is to 2024. And what I've done here in order to generate this gray boundary is I've taken my D37, so my magic number, and divided by the difficulty. This has given me the A gray boundary here of 53.9. So that would be at 54 or 77%. So what I'm predicting for the paper two specifically is that the gray boundary will be at 54 
and not at 55. So pretty close to what it was last year. But again, not much change. Now, of course, there are external factors to consider. The leaks do have some kind of effect on the gray boundary. This could then creep up. That is certainly possible. But I'm going to predict here that the A gray boundary is going to be 54 out of 70. Once we have the information for paper four and the A-level papers, we can do exactly the same process. But I'm giving you these tools, so when you have that information or you remember that information, then you can put it into the spreadsheet and it will give you a fairly good prediction of where the grey boundaries will be. Now, if you're wondering how good my predictions have been, generally speaking, then check out the video in front of you, because actually you'd be surprised how well my predictions can be.